we are so versatile that we can deal with almost any challenge. When things change, we are simply able to cope better than any other organism. Aki, Mara, and Braun have been traveling through Europe for over two months and are now in southern Germany. All that time, they've been looking for other people. Sky. Sky, 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 sky. Now, their search is over. They're no longer alone. But having come this far, Bron is uncertain. It's always risky making contact with strangers. Aki believes they have no choice. By offering gifts, they'll show they mean no harm. Age Europe, a meeting between strangers would have been incredibly rare. They'll have to overcome a language barrier. Their gifts serve their purpose. But Mara, a healthy woman of childbearing age, is of greater interest. In Ice Age Europe, women were valued far more than men, as the travelers will soon find out. This is no ordinary camp. It's what archaeologists call an aggregation, a temporary meeting of local clans. Such meetings were common in Ice Age Europe, increasingly so as the climate worsened. Each clan sends a few members who spend several weeks together, sharing ideas, skills and artifacts, anything which can help in the struggle for survival. The aggregation serves the same purpose as a modern trade convention, a showcase for the latest innovations. Making jewelry may seem trivial, but gifts and trinkets were important currency for creating ties between people. In an uncertain world, it's always useful to get along with your neighbors. Bron and Aki have befriended some of the men of the aggregation. They're being shown a new way of throwing spears using a wooden launcher. Being sociable has always been fundamental to human survival. It was hardwired into the brain during the course of our evolution.
Scientists know that sociability is innate in humans because they can observe the same behavior in our primate cousins. Genetically, we're closest to chimpanzees, but in other ways, baboons are more similar. They've made this same evolutionary journey as us from forest to open land, and like us, they crave company. Just like human beings, uh, baboons are widespread, versatile, intelligent, and quintessentially social animals. Relative to other monkeys, baboons have very large brains for their body size, and um, there are good reasons for thinking that this is to totally linked up with the fact that they live in such large and complex social groups. Because if you live in a complex social group, you've got to keep track all the time of uh, what everyone else in that group is doing, what relationships they have to you, who's mating with whom, who's got a higher rank or a lower rank than yourself. So you're keeping track of really complex, dynamic information about all these other individuals. And um, it's perhaps not surprising, therefore, that, that that drives the need to have more computing power in the brain. Baboons have a larger neocortex than most species of monkey because they're more sociable. Living in a group has changed their biology. It has made them more intelligent. It has also allowed them to spread across the continent. Baboons are the most successful, versatile monkey in Africa, always moving as a pack to spread the risks. And what's true for baboons was probably also true for early humans. Coming out onto the savanna, our ancestors must have faced very severe problems uh, in evolutionary terms in quite the same way that the baboons do. Um, a dangerous, open, very patchy environment where there are resources but they're spread out in an unpredictable way and you can't rely on them from season to season. In Ice Age Europe, being sociable isn't a choice, it's a necessity. Individuals have no long-term future. They have to become part of a group. Mara and the others are trying to charm their hosts. The aggregation will be ending soon, and they want to be adopted permanently by one of the groups. The weather is good and food plentiful. The visitors are welcome. But with the prospect of another bad winter ahead, none of the clans will find it easy to absorb three new members. The only person with any long-term value to them is Mara. The chief wants her to join him and become his woman. Mora knows she'd gain from this arrangement, but without her, Aki and Bran would find it even harder to be accepted by any other clan. Mara has made her choice. The travelers have no future here. This God, this is God.
Aki, Bron, and Mara are leaving before dawn, stealing as much food as they can carry. Once again, they're having to journey into the unknown. south again and climbing back above the snow line. It's only August, but already the temperature is dropping. For the second year in a row, winter is coming early. The climate has taken a very definite downturn. Scientists know what the weather was like 24,000 years ago by examining cores of ice drilled from deep beneath the world's oldest ice sheets. These are the crown jewels of climate science, each of them a physical relic of a bygone era. This ice was once snow, snow that fell 24,000 years ago. And each layer you see here is another year's worth of snow, compacted into ice and preserved for us to read as the climate record. Ice contains the air that was in the atmosphere at that time. It contains the chemistry of the atmosphere at that time. These layers are the pages of a book and this particular chapter, 24,000 years ago, uh, was a time when life was uh, very difficult, far more difficult than we have it today. Today, we can depend on having a certain summertime temperature, certain wintertime temperatures that don't deviate very broadly. 24,000 years ago, they didn't have that luxury. Almost on a year by year and certainly a decade by decade basis, climate was changing very abruptly and by large amounts. Enough that it would be like moving from say Paris to Moscow in a matter of a few years. The variability in the climate was being caused by disruption to the Gulf Stream. This current is the world's most powerful convector system, bringing warm tropical water north and keeping temperatures in Europe at least 15 degrees higher than they'd otherwise been. But scientists believe the Gulf Stream is inherently unstable and can shut down if there's an influx of too much cold, fresh water. When we put fresh water on the surface of the ocean, we make it difficult for the ocean to circulate in the way that we're familiar with. Where does fresh water come from? Icebergs. Here we have a situation where the North Atlantic region is surrounded by large ice sheets constantly calving icebergs into this system. This is a situation that you can imagine is simply perfect for a very unstable Gulf Stream, and importantly, if you were living 24,000 years ago, a very unstable climate. Human life was as unstable as the climate. With the temperatures dropping fast, Bron, Mara, and Aki will only survive another couple of months unless they can find people who are willing to share resources with them.